Is 343 already working on a brand new campaign for Halo? And is Halo Infinite going to the cloud? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So recently 343 posted on Twitter talking about that they have many job opportunities available at their company working on Halo. And oftentimes we do get some interesting tidbits of information through these job descriptions. So I thought I'd go over them with you guys so you kind of stay in the know of what 343 is working on for Halo. So if you guys like these news and informational videos and want to see more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more stuff like this. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. As we mentioned at the top of this video, 343 posted this on Twitter here, just saying, hey, we're hiring Com Market 343 to help build the future of Halo, which sounds pretty interesting, right? And we click on here, they have actually a lot of different job openings. And I'm sure there's a lot of aspiring engineers and artists out there who certainly could probably fill in some of these roles as well. So come on, guys, just take the chance, jump in. It's also really great that if anyone wants to get into the gaming industry as a whole, you kind of read up different job descriptions, see what people are hiring, and then learn those skill types. It's something I wish I learned back in high school, but, uh, you know, different times back then for sure. And some of these job postings hinted at something new and interesting happening with Halo and Halo Infinite as a whole. So I thought I'd share some of these bits of information with you guys. So here we have a game designer two for Halo specifically posted on January 16th. So it's been a, up for a while, but you know, obviously Microsoft can get a little picky when it comes to their selections here. Uh, first sentence here saying 343 is looking for a passionate gameplay designer that can contribute and implement exciting gameplay moments for a next gen Halo shooter. Continuing on saying reporting to the lead gameplay designer for responsibilities, including laying out gameplay spaces, gameplay scripting, setting up combat encounters and scripting unique events. This is an amazing opportunity to work closely with a passionate team of game developers who help create the next exciting Halo campaign. Now this is interesting to know because obviously they're talking about working on a new campaign for Halo Infinite. If this is the case then most likely you know things are kind of starting to wrap up with Halo Infinite because we're at the stretch where we're really just kind of doing a lot of bug fixing and we're not really creating new things right now for the game as we're really trying to focus on making sure that what they have in the game works properly and looks good as well. So this would make sense that they would start working on a new campaign, which kind of gives me an idea that if they're starting to work on a new campaign now, I mean like what this job posting was posted up, posted up back in January, this means that probably it would take probably about two year cadence would be my guess for every new Halo campaign that would see for like an expansion for Halo Infinite. I know they specifically mentioned a next gen Halo shooter, but oftentimes these job descriptions utilize copy and pasted text when it comes to uh, their job descriptions and what people they want from people. Uh, we'll showcase that later in this video, which is actually kind of funny. But this is big information. So I can pretty much assume that we would see about every two years, maybe a new Halo campaign being brought to us. This is the first time we're ever gonna have like campaign DLC or expansions when it comes to Halo. I mean, Bungie tried doing this back in 2009 with ODST. They originally wanted that to be an expansion, but Microsoft kind of built that up to be more of a full game release in a way, even though it wasn't necessarily a full game. Or is this new Halo campaign something that's going to be completely separate? Could we have spin-off games when it comes to Halo? Possibly. With this new Slip Space engine, it sounds like they've really tuned the engine to be able to have a really fast, a more competitive workflow compared to other shooters out there, which are able just to pump out content constantly like Fortnite, Call of Duty, just to name a couple. Another thing I find really interesting is the fact that they're talking about live events and specifically about the campaign side of things, which I kind of assume something like this would happen as Halo Infinite is a game as a service kind of thing. And where would you have your live events for the most part, the more cinematic moments? Obviously in the campaign, which just begs me the question, how often do we get these live events? How significant will they be? As the campaign will still be charging $60 a full price game while your multiplayer is free to play, where previously on all the Halo games, you'd get multiplayer, Forge, campaign, theater, and all these other features for the exact same price. So why charge people the same amount for half the game, essentially? That's gonna be very interesting to see how 343 turns that around. Live events certainly would be one way to give a really big value for the campaign 
gain a much more replayability, but again, we'll just have to wait and see when the game finally releases. Obviously, we won't know the true cadence until the game actually releases. I mean, we don't know. Maybe there might be like monthly DLC updates with the campaign once the game finally releases to give you kind of more content to play around with. I mean, we do have a 10 year plan when it comes to Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite is going to be the platform to play Halo on. So there's a lot of different ways 343 can go about adding content to the game. So it's not all about the release of the game and release day content, even though that is a huge part of what will make a good Halo game. But uh, I think what they might want to do is focus on what makes a good Halo game and then add on to that throughout the years. This next job posting for a senior technical lighting artist really just kind of hammers home that they are working on a new campaign. This was recently posted up on February 4th. And says we're here specifically saying 343 Industries, the studio developing Halo games, is looking for a senior technical lighting artist to join our team working on the next big Halo shooter experience. Again, rather generic uh, kind of phrasing right here. They could just be talking about Halo Infinite, honestly, but it lets you know that the next big Halo exper shooter experience definitely involving Halo Infinite, maybe some new content beyond the release of the game that they're working on right now. This job posting for a software engineer too actually is quite interesting about Halo Infinite and the cloud when it comes to computing style. So this was just posted like back on April 20th, saying right here, saying our team owns the cloud services that all Halo games past, present, and future are built upon. The systems we build power a wide range of experiences like player statistics, in-game economics, character customization, multiplayer, and user-generated content. I'm sure this has something to probably do with the xCloud stuff that Microsoft is currently working on at the moment and be able to have that computing processing, cloud computing happen where you can just stream the game to your device, which is a super cool idea. I think it's probably the future of gaming as well. But they mentioned in-game economics, which I'm pretty sure is a nice way of saying microtransactions. Of course, there are like in-game economics, like a currency that you earn in-game from playing the game to unlock things. That's also an in-game economic currency kind of thing as well. And also user-generated content is a very interesting thing to phrase when you're specifically talking about Halo, right? You'd probably talk about Forge, but maybe they want to use more broad terminology when it comes to this stuff as you're most likely hiring people that maybe not know everything about Halo. Like they might not even know what really what Forge is as user generated content. But it would be pretty awesome to see like if we can have some more customization with our experience when it comes to Halo saying like be able to create new weapon skins or something like that from the community or something like that. That would be pretty awesome. I would love to see something like that happen. But I'm pretty sure when they mention user generated content, they're mainly talking about game types and Forge. This job posting for a technical animation director kind of alludes to something a little more interesting that kind of I think reads more into than what it's actually being said, really. I saying 343 Industries is looking for a technical animation director to join our team working on Halo Infinite. So specifically about Halo Infinite. Some of the responsibilities were to deliver state-of-the-art workflows and runtime animation systems that enable compelling and deliverable animation in our game engine. So why would 343 need to have somebody working on animations in the game? Well, obviously there's gonna be a lot of more microtransactional kind of stuff and customization in general for animation. So it sounds like we're probably gonna Get, continually be getting new animations for some reason within Halo Infinite. Could Halo Infinite be getting dance moves like Destiny? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know, honestly, but it's interesting to know that they are looking to still improve on their animation sets to bring new animations to the game. So whatever we see at launch, isn't going to be final. There's going to be new stuff added into the game later on just for clarification of everything. And this last one here, I definitely wanted to showcase to you guys because I think it's kind of funny and it really just kind of helped put more context about why some of these job postings that they utilize in like next gen Halo game doesn't necessarily mean like a next Halo game that's only going to be on next gen. It could be just talking about Halo Infinite as it's copy and pasted text because this job description specifically Hurt a little bit when I read it, but also made me laugh at the same time for this senior producer right here. And specifically mentioned saying, we're looking for an experienced and talented producer who can hit the ground running on one of the most anticipated, emotional, and exciting games coming out in 2020, Halo Infinite. So yeah, when I read that, I'm like, oh, 
that hurt right there, but <laughs> you can kind of get some more context about like how these job postings really go. So you yeah, can't take them literally because they're not like written for each single job. There's a lot of copy and pasting that happens when it comes to these job descriptions when they, so when they say next gen Halo title, probably talking about Halo Infinite, maybe not necessarily a different or new Halo game that will be on next gen, though it certainly could be as well. But when they, but you gotta take in mind also that they're also hiring for new campaign experiences. So they're definitely working on new stuff for Halo Infinite post launch content that we can enjoy for us gamers, which is certainly exciting. And also for me, it kind of gives us a little bit more of a time frame of what to expect when it comes to these big content drops. Yeah, are they gonna be yearly? Are they gonna be seasonal? Are they gonna be bi-annually kind of things? Uh, again, like we won't truly know until the game fully releases. I truly expect it to be like a full-fledged, like six hour-ish campaign expansion, probably every two years with Halo Infinite. Maybe once a year, have like a big like content drop. But ultimately, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll probably get a chance to know more information at E3 this year, which we will be live streaming on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. We will be doing a launch party and I will also be doing a uh, clipping out my reactions to whatever we see within there because it seems to be a, a fun annual thing to post on the channel here. So if you want to take part of that, Follow the Twitch channel down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday as well in the evenings. So thank you so much for watching the video. Greatly appreciate it. If you've been on loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or miss any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I've got linked to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.